So let's find a comfortable position right here on your chair. Legs are on crust and rest your back as well. If your back is your lower back is bugging you, put a cushion behind your behind your back is going to help. And then I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to relax right here. We're going to focus on our breath. And do you remember, try to start your breath from here, from the stomach. And I like bringing even my right hand on my stomach to feel the movement of my breath. Inhale, stomach out. Exhale, stomach in. When you're ready, inhale, stomach out. And exhale, tummy in. So just keep going slowly at your own pace. And while we are all breathing slowly and deeply, I want you to check if there's tension in your body. If there is, I want you to breathe deeply into it and let it go. Relax the jaw. And relax your mind as well by focusing on your breath. And if your mind wanders, that's okay. Just bring it back and try to stay here in the present moment. And then on your next exhale, we can slowly release your right hand on your stomach. But keep breathing again slowly and deeply. Your chin is parallel to the earth. And let's slowly bring the shoulders up to your ears. Inhale. Exhale down and back. And then just feel your feet in contact with the earth and grounded. And then we're going to bring the back off the chair. And I want you to be nice and tall in mountain pose. So shoulders are down and back, lift the chest. And we're gonna inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, palms down, listen to your shoulders. You don't need to lift your arms. Again, up to inhale. Exhale. One more time, up to inhale. Exhale in front of your good heart. And let's release your hands, and we're just gonna do our neck. So I want you to turn your head slowly to the right, lessen to the limit of your neck. Inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale, slowly to switch. So it has to feel good. If it's not feeling good for your neck, for some people, it doesn't work. Please just release, don't do it, just wait for us. So make sure your shoulders are staying down. And then when you're done, the left, just bring your head to neutral. At life, we can bring the chin down towards your chest. 
in how it come back to neutral exhale down and again just keep going slowly at your own pace that's it maybe you're going to feel a stretch at the back of your neck as well And let's go again just for one more. And then we're going to come back right here to neutral. We're going to inhale again. Up. Exhale, arms and cactus. That's it. From here, up to inhale. Again, lessen to your shoulders. Exhale, down to cactus. One more time. Up to inhale. Exhale to cactus, and we're going to stay right here. So shoulders are down. Try to squeeze your shoulder blades together to open more the front of the body. So my elbows are very close to my body. That's it. Are you breathing? Good. And release. Rotate your shoulders slowly backwards. Up, inhale. Exhale, down, and back. Same thing at your own pace. Inhale. When you're ready, exhale. Three more. Good. So nice and slow. That's it. One more time. And we're going to keep our arms right here. Open your thumbs out. Yeah, so shoulders are down. And squeeze again your shoulder blades together. So opening again the front of the body. You might feel a stretch here in your biceps. And release your arms. And I like we can work the core. So we're going to walk forward towards the edge of the chair. Please stay on your chair. And then when you're ready, walk back right here all the way to the back yeah when you're ready walk forward and then walk back good let's do a few more and just notice what do you need to do here to create this movement so if you put your thumb right here each side of your waist Feel it. So you need to lift one hip, lift the other to be able to create the movement. Isn't it? There we go. Good. And release. Let's breathe again. Inhale. Exhale in front of the body. <laughs> That's it. Surprise. Inhale up. Exhale. Nice. One more time up to inhale. Exhale right here. Let's do your legs. So I'm just gonna find a comfortable position. Lift the chest, drop the shoulders. Let's bring the right leg up and flex your foot. And slowly come down, inhale. Exhale to lift. Lessen to your knee joint here. You don't need to lift very high. I have healthy knees, so I'm okay. Listen to yourself. So we need to keep your quad strong for you to be able to stay independent as long as possible. That's it. And again for five. Are you breathing? Four. And three. That's it. Can we stay up? Only if you can. As high as you can. If not, you're going to lower your foot. And let's start doing slow and gentle circles with your ankle. Inhale. Exhale. That's it. And again, it's too hard for your quads. You're getting tired. Lower your leg. Let's reverse the movement of your ankle. Again, keep breathing. Good. And slowly release. Do you feel that? <laughs> Let's switch it up. So again, lift the chest. Bring your leg up and bring it down. Inhale. Exhale to lift. 
Can you flex your foot again? Why I'm doing that? I want you to feel a little stretch right in your calf when you lift. But you're gonna still feel the work right here in your quads. Good, and again, five more. That's it. Listen to your knee joint. Three. And two. So notice if you fit it more in one leg than the other. See, I fit it more, this is my right, your left, and I fit it more in this one. We're gonna stay up as high as you can. You decide, lift the chest and start rotating your, sh your shoulder, your ankle nice and slow. That's it. And if it's cracking, that's okay, it's releasing. That's perfect. And we're gonna switch. Inhale. Exhale, beautiful, and release. We're gonna march, inhale up, exhale to cactus arms. And from here again, up, and cactus. And one more time up to inhale, exhale to cactus, and release your arms. Bring your arms right here in front. Anytime you need water, please do it. So right here, palms are up, shoulders are down and back, and you're gonna bend your wrist like that, and then you're gonna bring them down, fingers down, yep. Inhale, up, exhale. So make sure your shoulders are staying down. It's okay to bring the arms even lower, that way I'm sure your shoulders are gonna stay down. Inhale, up, exhale, yep. Inhale, exhale, and one more time. What's going on here in your forearms? Do you feel something? And then release, rotate your wrist. I'm gonna stretch your forearms. Good, let's reverse. Okay, I want you to bring your right arm in front and you're gonna grab your, your fingers and you're gonna to pull towards you. So it's gonna look like that. So shoulders down and I'm gonna pull my fingers. And I want you to feel the stretch underneath right here, okay? So make sure the right shoulder is down. You can lower your hand here. Good. Some people feel it. I don't feel it as much than the next movement. And release, point your fingers down. I'm gonna press right here on the back of my hand towards me. You can lower your hand again. And then you should feel it right here on top of your forearm. So are you checking your shoulders? Yep, <laughs> I know. Breathe. Good, and release. Again, let's rotate your wrist. And reverse. That's it. And let's do the other one. So let's start again with your uh, fingers up and you're gonna pull your fingers towards you. Again, check your shoulders. Beautiful, that's it. Deep breaths. And then fingers down and push slightly or just briefly right there at the back of your hand. Yep. I feel it again right on top. That's my computer, doing too much computer. And release and again, rotate your wrist. And reverse. Good. I like if we can do the baby squats. Do you remember this one? You're barely lifting yourself off the chair. Okay, so my thighs are still touching the chair. Inhale, exhale to lift. So again, it's gonna look like that. So open the knees above the ankles and slowly come up. Try to keep your chest as high as you can. Some of you need a little push here with the chair. Go for it, okay? Lessen to your knee joints. If it's getting too much, you stop. Can we do for four? Yeah, in three. Shoulders are down. Two. And last one. That's it. 
Good. And release. And again, march. Inhale up. Exhale. Again, up to inhale. Exhale. One more time. Up to inhale. Exhale. Bring your arms again by your hips. Open the chest right here. Yep. I call it the Titanic stretch right here. We're right in front of the boat. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna do the full squat. We're gonna stand up. Are you ready? Again, push yourself on your thighs or maybe using the chair. Try to do as many as you can, less into your knee joints. Try to keep your knees opened above your ankles. Again, inhale, exhale to stand. Contract your glutes to finish your movement. Good. Some of you might need a chair in front of you as well. Okay. That's it. Two more. And if you're done, your knees are tired, please stay up. Wait for us. That's it. One more time. Good job. And release and move your legs. We're going to go behind your chair. I'm just going to turn my chair because you're gonna see me better. So I want you to lift the chest, come closer to your chair, and I'm gonna start with my right, start with your right, and I'm just gonna slide my foot straight back to contract the glutes. We've done this one before. Inhale to come back, exhale, slide your foot, okay? Inhale, exhale to slide and contract. Now, how many fingers do you have on your chair for support? Try to have as less fingers as possible. This is a good exercise for balance, but also to work, do you feel it? In your left hip. Two more. And last one. That's it. And I want you to move your hips. And we're just going to switch the legs. So dance it out. Mm -hmm. Ready? Lift the chest, shoulders down and back. Same thing. Inhale, exhale, slide your foot straight back and point back. Inhale to come back. Exhale. You can bring your abs in as well. In six, five, that's it, four. Three, two, okay, and last one right here. Same thing, let's march it out. I'm gonna do something very similar, but let's go back to the right leg, right here. Okay, point your toes, bend your knee, and then you're gonna extend your knee, okay? And again, we're gonna focus on contracting the right side right here of your glutes, okay? Inhale, exhale. How many fingers do you need for support? Four more. And three. And two. And last one. And again, we're gonna dance it out. Let's switch your legs. Same thing with your left. So lift the chest first. Inhale, exhale, slide your left foot, and then bend your knee, extend your knee. Inhale, exhale, and again. So try to contract a little bit more right here, right here in your glutes. Two more. And last one. Beautiful. And release and move your hips. We're still behind the chair. I'm gonna just tap to the side right here with the right leg. Okay, I'm your mirror. So let's come back, inhale, exhale, tap to the side. That's it, inhale, exhale, tap to the side. So my weight is right on my left leg, so I'm not moving sideways, okay? I'm staying nice and tall, and I'm just opening my legs straight side. 
Again, for four. Anytime it's too much for your opposite hip, just walk on the spot. Three. How many? Yep. And then one more. Again, dance it out. Release the burning in your hips. We're going to switch nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale to point. Mm -hmm. Inhale, come back. Exhale to point. So try to stay nice and tall. You can even contract your glutes. Good. And four. Yeah. <laughs> Three. And two. And one more. Good. And slowly release. Move your hips. We're going to do one more standing pose. I want you to open your legs. So wider legs, easier. We have a wider base of support, okay? Narrower, it's harder. So you decide where you want to be. Contract your glutes again, just to stretch the front of your hip. Bring your right arm up only if you can lessen to your shoulder. And then we're gonna go to the side. That's it. And release your arm in cactus. Inhale. Yep, cactus right here. Exhale, over. Do you feel that nice stretch on the side of your body? Inhale, exhale up and over. And can we do one more? Inhale, exhale up and over. Beautiful. And release. Let's rotate your shoulders slowly backwards. And then we're going to switch. Same thing. Let's start with your left arm right here. Inhale. Exhale to reach. Are you still squeezing your cheeks here? Contract your glutes. Inhale. Exhale to reach. Cut two more times. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale. Exhale to reach. Beautiful. And release. And rotate again your shoulder slowly backwards. Okay. You're welcome to have water and let's go back seated on your chair. I'm just gonna focus a little bit on stretching the legs and hips and then we'll go in final relaxation. So let's turn our body to the right and you're gonna slide the left foot straight back. You're gonna hold on to your chair if you want the top Near the bottom, okay? Make sure you're staying on your chair because you need to come towards the edge, okay? Point your knee down towards the floor. Some of you are like that. That's okay, okay? I'm just more flexible. And you're gonna lift the chest, drop the shoulder, and I want you to feel it right here. The front of the hip, sometimes it goes down towards our, our knee. That's your quads. So just breathe right here into the stretch. Relax the jaw. Again, start your breath from the stomach. We all have a tummy. Two more deep breaths here. That's it. And one more. Bring the back leg in front, and then we're gonna switch. <clears throat> Same thing here, lift the chest. Drop the shoulders and look straight ahead. Feel the difference between both legs. Sometimes one feels tighter than the other. And slowly release and come back again right here. We're going to come forward on your chair and I want you to slide your right foot underneath the chair and I'm going to turn, I think you're going to see better what I mean by that. Right here. So yeah, I'm sliding my right foot a tiny bit and then I'm going to press my heel and you should feel it right there, right above your heel. At the same time, let's open your arms right here. So shoulders are down and squeeze towards the back.
and slowly release and let's switch your legs same thing so slide your left and then you're going to press your heel down you i'm pretty sure you're going to feel the stretch usually people are tight yeah at the same time can we do triceps so brush your hair with your right hand touch the back of your neck and push your elbow up towards the sky so using your left hand try to bring it up a little bit higher mm -hmm. and slowly release same thing brush your hair touch your upper back or the base of your neck yeah keep your elbow in and bring your elbow up I'm going to slowly release our arm, release the leg, and rotate your shoulders slowly backwards. How are we feeling? Good? Not good? Or come see, come sa? <laughs> okay, let's find again a comfortable position right here on your chair. And we're just going to go in final relaxation. And again, if you need water, please go for it. And I want you to rest your back against the chair. Feel again your feet in contact with the earth and grounded. And just relax from your toes, ankles and legs all the way up to your fingers, arms and shoulders. I want you to stay connected with your stomach breath, tummy breath. And relax your jaw. And your eyes are closed and soft. So just breathe slowly and deeply through your nose. Keeping the mind calm for a few more minutes. And then you're going to slowly come back to the room. Tingle your toes and fingers. And if it's cracking, that's perfect. It's releasing. And then bring your back off the chair. Nice and tall in mountain pose. I'm going to inhale up and exhale, palms down. And again, up to inhale. Exhale. And one more time, up to inhale. Exhale in front of your good heart. And thank you so much for joining again today.
the light in me honors the light in you namaste